We've certainly heard that for months, seen the marchers. What we haven't seen is this massive show of solidarity between striking writers and actors, seeking a modernized pay structure, staffing guarantees, limits on artificial intelligence. Today, they fill the shutdown streets of Hollywood en route from Netflix to Paramount. Pay us what you owe us. Don't act like you forgot. Actress Cheryl Lee Ralph, one of a number of stars, speaking out. Let this strike be a reminder to the world because we are inspiring other workers to stand up and fight for their rights to be. Most of us, I would venture to say, did not start in this industry to make money. We did it because we loved it and we wanted to do it. The problem is they know that, so they think that we'll do it for nothing. We want you to be profitable, but then we want you to, to channel some of those profits to us. How about that? How about that? You don't get one without the other. The Producers Alliance has essentially chosen not to negotiate, no date set, and not to fight publicly, while issuing the same basic statement over and over again. Every member wants a fair deal for writers and actors and an end to the strikes, which are affecting not only our writer and actor colleagues, but also thousands of others across the industry. But union writers and actors really don't believe it. SAG-AFTRA's chief negotiator put it this way. The big studios and streamers, they rely on hiring crisis PR firms while attempting to sow discord among all of you instead of doing the one thing they need to do to get the industry back to work, which is get back to the negotiating table and actually work to make a deal. Meantime, much of the entertainment industry shut down, everyone losing money. Reports say some on the picket lines taking advances on retirement funds. Others wonder how much longer they can maintain the brave front before pressuring their leaders to settle. In Hollywood, Phil Schumann, Fox 11 News.